Hey everybody, this is David. I want to do a quick video on some of the the wood fire results from the workshop this weekend. Um, I'm going to run through it real quick. I don't want to make a big video. Uh, these are some of the cups I did. This is some of the uh, AE Clear that I did on top of uh, some coffee cups. Here's some Honey Luster. In fact, I'm using it this morning. Uh, speckled really well. Um, love that glaze. Uh, honey Luster with some of the AE Clear over the rim. Turned out pretty cool. Uh, this is an ash glaze on a big bowl. Uh, like that look, the reduction atmosphere. Uh, really, you know, pulls the iron out of the clay body. It's all cone 12. Uh, only one chamber got a cone 11, which is chamber 1. And the rest fired well. And this is some of the root tile. Uh, blue glazes that turned out really well. Here's another one that turned out really cool. Um, puddled quite a bit in the bottom. Uh, it moves, but if you can see the outside of the glaze, it really uh, lays down nice. This is uh, one of my favorites. This is uh, green ice, and it's an ash glaze. Uh, turned out really well. Uh, the wood fire, if you can see on top, it brings out a lot of the specks in the iron. Uh, some Charlie's White on a coffee cup. Uh, here's some Celadon uh, on porcelain. Turned out pretty good. This is Honey Luster. And what I did on the top, I used what's called uh, manganese sulfate liquid. And it's almost like a paste that you put on top. And it really mixes well with the, uh, uh, the ash glazes. Uh, a lot of iron and uh, looks really cool. This is a glaze called Tiger Ash. Uh, it looks really cool. Uh, pretty uh, indicative of the wood fire and uh, gets a lot of ash buildup on it. Uh, she knows didn't do all that well in the firing um, on this porcelain piece. It did okay. If you can see, it's real rich. Uh, salmon color uh, turned out cool. Here's some more of the green ice with some sulfate on top of it close up, see if you can see. Uh, turned out really, really well. Uh, here's some more honey luster with glaze called Zork on the inside, copper red. Uh, turned really, really cool. Uh, here's some of the tiger ash you can see. Uh, cool. Here is, uh, this is called Rich's Persimmon with Chino down below, heavy carbon trap Chino. But if you can get a close-up of that persimmon, it really turns out nice. This is a matte blue glaze. Uh, on the flame side, it usually specks to blues really well. And on the back side, it kind of it's a little bit more of an eggshell. Well, it's more of like a, uh, you know, a mottled kind of light blue color. But if you can see on the bottom, it, uh, it specks the blue well. Chinos didn't do all that great. Uh, you know, they, uh, you, you never really know what you're going to get with the chinos in there. It almost looks like it's got moss growing on it. Some some said they love it, and uh, some say they hate it. And I don't know, I don't know which I like. Uh, let's see, what else? This is honey luster with more uh, manganese sulfate over the top of the, uh, you know, the handles and uh, the lid piece. Uh, inside the copper red, if you can see that, it, it always just turns so beautiful on the inside. Let's see if we can get a shot in there, that's cool. Uh, this is AE Clear with more sulfate over the top. And uh, the, I, I'm not really much into the runs, I like the streaks, and uh, this one streaked well uh, into a rust kind of earth tone, if you can see it, it turned well with some slip trailing. Uh, here's more honey luster on top of. Uh, Porcelain. This is one of my favorites. This is uh, that persimmon glaze with AE Clear over the top, and you probably can't see too much the coloring in this, but it's just, it's glass, glass smooth, and really uh, kind of speckled into the a rust kind of iron color. It looks, looks neat. This is more of the persimmon, if you can see, is a picture I threw on the wheel. Uh, kind of turn it around here, you can see where this was the flame side. It's got some ash build up in the glaze. Anyway, turn cool. More green ice. Uh, laid down really well, if you can get a close-up of what it looks like. Uh, the 
looks cool. Here's more of the copper reds with persimmon. Uh, actually, I believe that's Timaku on the outside. Uh, Celadon on stoneware turned out pretty good. Uh, Rutile always turns out well. Uh, I don't know if you can see that coloring, but it's really blended well. This is uh, more copper red on porcelain. Um, if you're if you like red, this is really a deep, pretty red. Uh, AE clear on top of a porcelain piece. This is blue on the flame side. It turns this really brilliant blue, but on the back side, it kind of turns it into a speckled sky blue kind of color. Uh, if you can see it, it's cool. This is more tiger ash here. Uh, never disappointed with tiger ash. It always uh, does well. There's more of that blue color. Uh, once again, you know, you don't know how much blue you're going to get. But uh, on the back side, it kind of turns this speckled kind of wood ash uh, glaze. And on the flame side, it speckles well. Uh, this is a glaze called Yellow Salt. Uh, kind of funny because it turned almost a, a mustardy kind of color. And it, it, it broke a little bit on the throw lines um, into like this earth kind of brownish rustic color turn interesting. This is uh, a glaze called Jamie's Blue on top of Rutile Blue and it's streaked uh, rather interesting. Here's more of uh, the persimmon color. Here's some more of that blue. Here's some of the uh, uh, that yellow salt with AE clear over the top. Uh, there's a two-tone with a little manganese and some drips and some some ash glazes on it. Uh, this is a cool one. This is Temaku with uh, that yellow salt on the rim and then down here I used some more of that manganese sulfate and it blended the glazes really well. If you can get the rim turned out almost zebra-like, le leopard kind of look. Uh, it's really cool especially on the front but uh, the Timaku's always do well and that's it. So uh, I've got a couple few more boxes to unload and got some other uh, pieces. Maybe I'll do a video of it. Anyway, till next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.